2006 Prius. New compressor, new evaporator, new condenser. Now, for those of you who don't know much about vacuum and a micron gauge, you see right here where it says microns, this is where you can actually read and measure whether or not you've removed moisture from your system. If you've watched many of my other videos, you'll see it's very hard to get below 500 microns or so on an automobile because they're so dirty and wet, uh, especially if they've been serviced or opened before. You've seen me give up on some vehicles that are so saturated with moisture and contaminated, there's just no realistic way of removing the moisture using a, a vacuum pump. In this case, you have a brand new evaporator out of the box that was sealed from the factory that has dry nitrogen in the vapor evaporator. You have a condenser, brand new from the factory. They're sealed. When they're manufactured, they have dry nitrogen pumped through them and they have the caps. You ever notice when you lift the caps off, you get a little hissing sound coming out. That's because they're sterilely dry internally. Same with the compressor. And the compressor on the OEM Toyotas contain enough refrigerant oil in the 11 for the whole entire system so that oil has to stay sterilely dry so when they're manufactured they're pumped with dry nitrogen so everything clean the only thing old on here is this metal line and this metal line that just has a little short section of rubber hose on it there and a little short section of rubber hose here those are the only things that could have contaminants in it with moisture and in this particular vehicle because so many components including the desiccant bag that's in the receiver dryer in the condenser it is dry it only took like 10 minutes to get down to 200 and it was like 280 microns after 10 minutes and uh, because the system is just completely dry uh, that's the difference and you can actually tell uh, you can actually measure as it's going down and then you have to turn it off and do let it stabilize and see where it comes back up because it has some hoses you will get some bounce back in it coming up uh, with contaminated hoses that have old oil in it and moisture uh, the other one over there the other prius has a new evaporator in it and um, new toyota parts this is the new compressor this is the Compressor number right from Toyota, Fremont, California. The new genuine o OEM Toyota condenser. So that's it. Here's the old one. So even if your condenser at this age, a 2006, looks in good condition, it had a failed compressor on it. But even if it was just an electrically failed compressor, that didn't have metal flake in it, you would still wanna change the condenser. Two reasons, one, the desiccant bag. You can change them all by themselves, and you, if you want to try to save them, but we all know when Priuses get this old, the condenser becomes usually the number one leak source. So here you go, you got a 2006 condenser. You just spent $1,200 or more for a compressor. You just spent uh, another $1,500 to have the evaporator and expansion valve replaced, and you're gonna leave this one old part that fails all the time on there and cause a failure. And if this condenser leaks and you go low on refrigerant oil, you have a high risk chance of burning up your brand new condenser, and it's not under warranty if it's caused by a leaky old condenser. Because refrigerant loss, causes compressors to burn up so you can have a warranty on everything but if you leave that old part in there and it loses refrigerant the compressor keeps running while the refrigerant level goes down it overheats lack of oil return burns out no warranty and that's it on this one this is ready to charge